Hi guys, so today I want to talk about standing up for your patients and yourself when you disagree with what doctors are ordering for their patients. Um, this is kind of a tough subject to talk about, um, so I'm just going to kind of get started. As nurses, we are huge advocates for our patients and we a lot of times know what they need because we are there and we see what's going on and we're dealing with all the other doctors that come by and all the therapies and everything like that. And sometimes doctors will order things for their patients or not order things for their patients that maybe we disagree with. And first and foremost, you have to understand that even though you're a nurse, technically doctors orders trump what you think and what you want. And um, in the end, you have to follow the orders as long as it's appropriate. Um, obviously, if there's a medication, like if a doctor says give 60 milligrams of morphine, um, IV push now, you're going to question that order. Um, but in the end, doctor's orders trump what you think as a, a nurse. And this can be hard for some people, more so than others, if you are one that doesn't like to take direction or things like that from people that are above you. Uh, I think there's a respectful way to approach doctors when they order something that maybe you disagree with or you're confused about. And first and foremost, uh, what I will do is um, I will straight up ask the doctor like, hey, may I ask why you're ordering this or what's your rationale behind it? Like, I just want um, to understand a little bit better. And a lot of times, not all the time, there are those special docs out there that just think that you should just know everything. Uh, they will sit there and explain it to you like, hey, I decided to order Lasix and albumin because the albumin draws in that uh, extra, I want to say liquid, oh, fluid, fluid into the intravascular space and then the Lasix is the diuretic and that will help them pee more out. And you'll be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Sometimes by you just saying, hey, how come you're ordering this? They realize like, oh, I ordered that on the wrong patient. Like, thanks for catching that. I had that the other day. Suddenly a doctor ordered a chest x-ray on my patient for a pneumothorax and I was like, uh, why? You know, they're not short of breath. They're like, they have no clinical indication of having pneumothorax and the doctor's like, oh, thank you. I ordered that on the wrong patient. So if a doctor explains their reasoning to me and I disagree with it, then I can respectfully say, you know, I'm concerned about this or I'm worried about this and or the patient said this and I really just don't feel like that's a good idea. And sometimes they may say, well, what else can you suggest? Or, oh, are you right? I didn't realize that. Let me cancel that order. Or they'll say, nope, do it. You know, that's what I ordered. You know, it can go any which way. In the end, if you disagree with what a doctor's ordered and they've ordered it, or you don't understand the rationale behind it, some doctors seriously have no evidence-based reasoning behind why they order things. They just order it because they want to, like that's what they do. And they're that doctor who just, you know, just orders those things because that's what they do. And if you question them, then you're wrong. And you just kind of have to feel out for who those doctors are on your floor or unit or whatever. But in the end, even if you disagree, and if that's what the doctors ordered, it's under their license. So if they've ordered that, and for some reason it has a negative outcome on the patient, then that's under them, that's not under you. As long as you were following the order correctly and you weren't doing something that was like totally crazy, like giving 60 milligrams of morphine, obviously like that's under your license too, if you gave a medication without realizing the appropriate dosing for it. So sometimes at the end of the day, you just have to bite your tongue and you know, kind of just move forward with it. I'm not saying that you need to uh, be disrespected by doctors, things like that. That's a whole nother topic, but it's okay to disagree with the plan of care. And as long as you've advocated and charted what you've brought to the doctor's attention, um, then you're covered. And I stress the charting part because let's say a doctor orders something, you disagree with it and you say, you chart, you know, what time you called, what you notified the physician of, what the outcome of your conversation was, um, then that's all you really can do. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you get a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.